as always, it's wonderful to be with you again. And I'm happy to be here in the studios and to share my mind again with you. And remember, my aim is to make some input into your life that will help you in your journey of success. Success is a must. It's not optional. Success is a must. And there's so much potential inside of you that you need to just make discovery or become aware of it. You know, there are levels of learning and the, the time that you are unconscious of what you don't know, it should be wiped out of your system in the things that are relevant in your life. So for today, I want to talk to our youth and friends to our youth and parents to our youth. So if, if, you, if you're not a youth yourself, you have youth who are your friends. And when I mean youth, I'm, I'm looking at those in the latter teen age of their lives. And it's important for you to know that you can actually influence your parents and be respected for it. I just want to give you a few tips. You know, if, if you are a parent, you can help your child. Maybe one you, what you can do is um, you can send this to your, your child and they will benefit from it. Let me go right into it. And what to do as a teenager is number one, to show that you have a sense of responsibility. You have a sense of responsibility. Now, it doesn't matter. Your parents can still make contributions to your life. They can still be offering the services, you know, provide emotional support. They, they, they give you all the assistance they can and you know, help you through some major decisions of your life. But you can actually influence them. I am aware that one of the most valuable things for teenagers and, and those in, in, in that bracket, the younger people who are just beginning to establish their identity. One word that shouldn't be taken away from them and you will fight to the last minute to get it is freedom. You want freedom. But I've also found out that the price for freedom is diligence. Dil you have to be diligent. You need courage. You need to be bold. You need to be bold. I'm not talking about being a rascal. I'm not talking about taking actions that will hurt you tomorrow. I'm not talking about becoming daring and doing things you shouldn't do or writing uh, graffiti all over the walls and you know doing things that will endanger your, your life no i'm talking about taking steps taking risk calculated risk being strategic in your life having a life plan and goal being able to set out goals for your life and the moment your parents know that you are living your life for something and that you have taken responsibility to plan your life and you are repeatedly sharing with them where you are going. When they know where you are going, I am telling you, instead of them trying to force their own feeling or what they have planned on you or impose their desires on you, they will now begin to respect your own plans because they know you have taken responsibility for the kind of person you want to become. They know that you have a sense of direction they know that you have taken charge of your focus. That what is taking your focus in focus is where you are going. You have a sense of value for your life. You have a sense of value for your time. You are in charge. You're not one of those who just do things accidentally. If you want real independence, if you want real freedom, you need to be responsible for your life. What does it mean to be responsible? To be responsible doesn't mean that you lose form out of life, no. It doesn't mean you now have to take over what your parents have to do when it's not time, no. It means that you now have the ability or you develop the ability to respond to things properly. You develop the ability to respond to things that you see you are things or things in the home, in the wrong place, and you put them right without being told. For as long as they keep teaching you the things they have always been teaching you, they will think you have not grown. If your own sense of growth depends on your height, 
or your physical development or that you you never used to have beds you have started growing beds or that you you are you are now developing a, a figure eight you should be respected oh you have started going to the hair salon by yourself and all that that is no indication the thing that indicates that you can now take decisions and be respected for it is you how you are able to respond to your environment how you are able to respond to the things that even concern you i have seen that many people want to be respected but they have no sense of responsibility they are not in charge of the decisions they make or they are not even clear about where they are going they have no clear sense of direction and their choices are always made for them by the environment. If their friends buy, so they buy. If they walk into the shop, they're having sales, they must have it. No, people are deciding for you. You don't even know why you're doing what you're doing. You must have vision. You must be visionary. I tell you, it doesn't matter how young you are. The moment you begin to have that and have a clear sense of direction, not only will you influence your parents, hear me, your parents will respect you for it. And very soon, if they have not started, very soon they will start asking you, what are your plans for the next year? And that will be different from, this is what I want you to achieve the next year. Which shows you have really grown, not just in size. I have found out that many people have grown old, but they have not grown up. The moment you grow up, it doesn't matter whether you are a teenager. Your parents will allow you to influence your decisions. They will respect you for it. Thank you for these moments that you have shared with me. I wanted to ask you to share this with your friend. And I appreciate you deeply. I'll be glad to hear from you. Thanks and God bless.